Dave Ricci with this week's edition of Drive Time. This week, we go electric, the Chevrolet Vault. That's right there, electric car that Chevy thinks is a big piece of the future of transportation in this country. Half electric, half gas, but it's a plug-in electric. So you can plug this thing in and get 25 miles on the electric charge, and then when the charge runs down, boom, it switches over to a gasoline engine. Revolutionary concept. Well, I don't know. I think they put the first electric car out in like 1899 or something like that. But you know what? Everything old is new again. So come on. Let's take a ride in Chevy's Volt. Now, once inside the Volt, you're hit with an array of different gauges and meters and things like this. But the most important button, of course, is the start button right here. As a matter of fact, I'm still trying to decide if you start the Volt or you turn it on. There's three different drive modes on here. You can hit this button and you can switch it from normal to sport to mountain. Each of them with their own characteristics. I haven't used the mountain yet, but the sport is pretty interesting. You have to switch it when you stop, but what the sport will do will give you the feeling of more acceleration, quicker acceleration with the car. So if you need more power quickly, uh, like you're getting onto a freeway, I guess, or something like that, uh, you might want to use the sport mode as opposed to uh, the just normal mode. That's the sound of power when it's an electric car. Now, one of the things Chevy was worried about is because the car does run silent in the electric mode, how would people outside the car know that the car was running? They might just step out in front of it if they didn't hear it coming down the street. So what Chevy did here is, I thought, a real, real smart thing. They put the, a little uh, on the turn directional signal stalk. So it's a different kind of signal that lets you know that the car's running, the lights flash, a warning system for pedestrians and people outside the car to let you know that it's uh, that it's running. Now how easy is it to charge up the Volt? Very easy. You can carry this right in the car with you or you have a unit that goes in the garage, hangs up on the wall. You unfurl the cord, you put this end into any 110 grounded plug in your office or in a parking lot or something like that. Then you hit the uh, little fob here. It opens up the door. Looks just like a gas tank, doesn't it? It was one of them on the other side. You take the button, push that, And voila, you are charging, pulsing electricity into the motor, into the battery, and uh, saving the environment at the same time. Okay, when you finish charging the vehicle, you unplug it, wrap it up in its uh, container here, the Voltec Volt Charger, pick up the floorboard, put it right in there, place this there, and you are ready to go. It's that simple. As far as the interior, very functional, very comfortable. The seats are, uh, you know, the new GM with the high-grade uh, materials inside has kind of an interesting, futuristic, wingy-looking um, motif to the dashboard. And obviously, you have all of the controls here. They're all touch controls for the seat warmers and many of the other uh, different things that are on the car. Uh, the DVD player that's right there in the middle, and uh, of course the center uh, gauge and lets you know how much electricity you've used, how much gas you have left, what your traveling time is uh, that you have left. There's also a nav system, and again, one of the coolest things I think that come in an automobile today, OnStar, where you hit the button and boom! You can ask it questions, you can ask it directions, gives you turn-by-turn -turn navigation. If you get into an accident somewhere, it'll pinpoint where you are, that you got into the accident, call the emergency services for you. Uh, it really is, I think, uh, something that should be in every car. All right, time now for the drive time bottom line. Look, for years and years and years, we have been dependent on other countries for our energy sources. We have been at the mercy of everybody else for that little precious little liquid called gasoline. We would do anything for it because we needed it. It ran through our lifebloods. We had to have gasoline and diesel fuel to move things around this country for our own personal freedom. For years, they said, no, 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 electric cars will never work. No, no. It's just impractical. Well, you know what? 
you're looking at the future right here in the Chevrolet Volt. It's not perfect. It doesn't do everything as good as maybe it will in 10, 20, 30 years from now, but it's a beginning. You can now walk into an auto dealership, into a Chevy dealer, and say, sell me a car, although they might want to do it for about $65,000, sell me a car that will not use gasoline when I'm driving to work, but yet take me to grandma's house over in Cleveland and get me back again, and I don't want to have to worry about the batteries running out. Well, that's exactly what the Volt does. Is it perfect? No, but it's the beginning, and that right there is the best thing. We have finally figured out how to wean ourselves off of oil and maybe on to bigger and better things, and that is the bottom line. That's another edition of Drive Time. I'm Vinny Ricci, going electric. See you out on the road.